Hey, hello, it's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Monday, the 7th of October, 2019. We are using Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot for our message today. Our card from the bottom of the deck, this is our theme of energy running through the day. We have the Ace of Cups. <laughs> Beautiful. This is us giving from the overflow. I love that we continue to get this message. Uh, this card, like all aces, is a divine and cosmic gift of the universe, pouring pure, raw, happy love into your world, filling your cup, and you are giving from the overflow into your broadcast, into your ripple effect. This is what you have to offer. It's like, here, here's my heart space. <laughs> Hello, world, here's my heart space. That's what the Ace of Cups is, is sending us today. Let's see what it connects to. Our first card is... Three of Pentacles, self-mastery. Uh, the Three of Pentacles is, it's maximizing one's potential. It is a grounded material type energy and it's a card that speaks to our skill and our talent. Usually we see someone carving or building on this, on this card and that's not something that you that you call on a novice for. So we're being asked to tap our wisdom, our talent, our skill, our experience, and bring it all into the day in this beautiful overflow of loving energy. <laughs> My guides are saying, just show up as the love that you are and your wisdom, your experience, your talent, your skill, all of it will speak for itself. You will also have it to draw on as you need it. So if you find yourself in a situation where you're completely winging it, uh, you can trust your wisdom and experience to support you in that. <laughs> Coming with it is judgment. Ooh, look at this card. An angel and a devil. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me there. Okay, judgment is weighing options considering our situation, our circumstances, and how to achieve the highest and greatest potential from them. When we see judgment though, we wanna know the energy is calling us out from something and calling us to something. So we're gonna check that out. What are we being called to on judgment? Hmm. <laughs> really nice. Another ace, the ace of wands, fire, passion, creativity, mm, more skill, more talent, communication here as well. And the ace of wands is a card of our passionate self-expression. So divine and cosmic gift, that's inspired in us today to bring our passion. And I feel like we're, we're the hermit's lamp today. As I look at these cards, we are the beacon of light. And we're being asked to bring that into whatever we face in the day. I really do feel the three of pentacles is a message of winging it. We're going to be in a situation that, um, or an experience, communication, collaboration, whatever it is, we're going to be involved and engaged in that today. And we are naturally, organically, authentically going to bring this beautiful Ace of Cups ace of wands energy to these experiences experiences and circumstances today and we'll find ourselves uh hmm, calm serene non-judgmental but truly being the witness to the options before us and where do you leverage your passion where do you leverage your raw love in that moment the Three of Pentacles will help us know and understand that and where to really bring it. All right. We want to know also what we're being called from on judgment. I like that we have two aces in the reading. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, we have two cards. Okay. Being called from the Three of Wands and the Chariot. Oh, nice. You know, 
This is taking a bit of a different spin for me at the moment. The Three of Wands obviously follows the two, <laughs> where we step into a new realm of experience and there we send out new seed thoughts and feelings for our co-creation manifestation with the divine all that is. And here we have the chariot coming with that. The feeling here is, now that we've got two aces and two threes in the reading, and the chariot is number seven, so we have a bit of heaven touching earth for us today. We have dynamic movement forward in a direction toward the fulfillment of our dreams and intentions. And our skill and our talent, wisdom, experience is all going to be called on for that today. While we find ourselves in a judgment type of situation supported by two aces. That's pretty fantastic stuff. Uh, traditionally speaking, three of wands is like waiting for your ship to come in. So the feeling here is that while we may be winging it in a situation and bringing all of this goodness to that, uh, we are going to take a bold leap forward in participation with the unfolding of <laughs> our goals, dreams, and intentions. We may not see it come to full fruition today because this three is part of a process, as is this one over here. It's not full, it's not complete, but it's it's moving in a really favorable direction because of our passion, because of our love, and because of our desire to live in happiness. So the chariot too, heaven touching earth, that's happening in your heart space. I started this reading with hello world, <laughs> here's my heart space. I feel like that's what we've got packed in the chariot. That's where what we're bringing everywhere we go. And as we do that, we are engaged in these threes and how they are unfolding in the now for long-term happiness fulfillment. So we haven't reached fulfillment here. We do feel like we're at a bit of a beginning stage. We've got two aces. And the judgment card is a great contrast in it all because we have the perspective of where we've been and what we've done in our journey, chariot, and the wisdom to recall all that, what we gleaned from it and apply it to the now so we do know how to <laughs> leverage these aces into our world right now. Beautiful. Let's see what's next. Another ace. We have three aces in the reading. The ace of pentacles now. <laughs> I need to look something up in my book. Something about the great book Otero. Uh, <laughs> something about three aces in a reading that I can't recall right now. Yeah, good news, good fortune, things things moving along in your favor. Mmm, beautiful. Ace of Pentacles, you know this one so well. Uh, this is the, the gateway ace, the one that opens a door of opportunity, experience, exploration, discovery, following your curiosity. It's tangible, though. This is something, if we are the hermit's lamp today... We are taking ourselves across the threshold that this ace offers, bringing with us the other two aces, all of this beautiful energy, and we're going forward dynamically. And that feels like heaven on earth to us. And with three aces in the reading, that's good news. Favorable. Favorable information. <laughs> Optimism. That's what my guides are saying. You have every reason to remain optimistic. All right, next cards are the Angel Answers. This is your opportunity to ask a question if you have one. Please do. Let these cards confirm something for you. First one flipping out of the deck is perfect timing. <laughs> divine timing, yeah. You are in beautiful concert with the divine all that is for what you are in co-creation for at this moment. Next card. Don't stop. Emphatically, don't stop. Yeah, keep going through these doorways, gateways on the aces, the wands. Mm. Bring your mastery to the moment. Create heaven on earth dynamically. Don't hesitate. 
That's another message I love about the chariot. There's just no hesitation there. <laughs> Synchronistic. Synchronicity. Synchronicity in action. That's what I hear. And then we have... Oh, sweet. <laughs> We've got two of them. I did just say moments ago, you have every reason to be optimistic. And then we have remain positive out of the angel answers along with our sweet and simple yes. Just yes. <laughs> All right, last card. Universe has your back. Our affirmation for the day is... There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. Heck yeah. <laughs> there it is. Bring that. How beautiful. What a lovely, magical Monday reading, right? Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Do check out the October readings as, long, as well as the seasonal reading. They are uh, linked for you at the end of this video. Please do like, share, subscribe. Always appreciated. And leave your comments if it's in your heart to do so. Bye for now, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Peace.